this is the thing that I think is probably going to f- cause us, you know, the four of us to break up that we'll end up arguing about um, till the end of time. Tatum passing up the shot to Smart. I understand rational minded people will say Smart had the better look and it was open three in the corner. I don't know that I can argue with it. But again, here we are where you're working the you're working the ball around and is you the, give it to trusting though is the trust you give it to your fourth you, you get the, you have three you have three scorers on the floor and the fourth guy and your fourth option gets the final shot of the game granted it was an open shot and granted it was wide open it was wide open but again that's you're always going to come down to it i don't mind tatum passing up that i would if the knee smith is the guy who catches the ball on that last position I feel okay about that because that's his job. That's what he does for a living. He shoots threes, even if he's only been in the league for 10 seconds. Okay. Wow. Marcus Smart is fine. He's okay. Oh, he's okay. a lifetime 36, 35% three point shooter. <laughs> he's fine, but he's still by far clearly the fourth option on the floor. Agrees. And it was, so, it's a good basketball play. And at any other point in the game, nobody's going to say, Do you remember that time when the Celtics were tied at 60 in the third quarter and Tatum passed up that shot and gave it to Smart? No one's going to call that out in the third quarter of a tie game, but you are going to always scrutinize it in a late game, end of game situation. Shouldn't Is it even, fair or not shouldn't fair? even been there. Shouldn't even been there. Like that play. Fair enough, but I'm, I'm just looking at that. Fair or not fair? Because people will look at it. And I don't think it was a bad so, shot, but yeah, yeah. So you know, you know my stance. I, I, I lean, I lean with you in terms of I usually always only want Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown or now Kemba Walker taking the shot. In this case, um, you're not coming out of a timeout. You're, you know, you're, you're coming down the court. You have what, five seconds? I, I forget how many seconds they had. Six seconds maybe um, to get the look that they did. I cannot complain about it. It was a completely clean. Corner three, high percentage shot from, listen, Marcus Smart, say what you want about him, but that's a shot that he should have hit. Um, he should hit that shot. Um, if Jason Tatum forces up a three, John, you're going to be the first one to criticize him for that wacky three Probably. point fade away. So yeah. it's not so, fair. It's not a fair. Uh, it's it's not fair. You're, no, I know. Ma- but so like if yeah. the shot goes in, it's a great play by the Celtics and Brad and we're going in, you know, we're talking about how they're going into overtime and. Yeah, I, mean, I don't see an alternative either. Yeah, you, you had two people diving at Tatum there. I think that's why it helps slit up off Smart. So it, where where was Smart supposed to pass it to? You're down three, so you need to take a three there. There's there was no other option really. Now you could say I one of our commenters just said Drag help him floor. <laughs> I, I don't see why you wouldn't have Smart on the floor in crunch time. That doesn't make any sense to me. Nah, he's on the floor. Uh, who else? Who, okay, who's on the floor? I mean. If you if you say oh you want your three point you want your best three point shooters out there well smart. What are you gonna do the two K three point lineup? <laughs> right, exactly. Here comes Carson um, again. The only you know if you want to criticize anybody you got to criticize you know Kemba for the turnover. I mean uh, Jason Tatum had the a good huge, game. The huge and one um, to put them in that position, um, and the, the shot just didn't fall. I mean if the shot falls it's a completely different story. Uh, Marcus Smart's not gonna stop shooting. I mean, and and honestly, well, like, you evidently, don't really want your basketball players to be second guessing. Evidently, he's not, and and right. so that that brings us again to our, uh, you know, what and you this is the, I, I don't. I actually, what's funny is I'm getting ripped for saying bad take. I actually, in that situation, think <laughs> Tatum was better off passing the ball than taking that shot. They right. they, they they blitzed him. It would have been a contested shot with two guys on him. Smart was wide open. Okay, and, and I'm John, just bringing it up because it happened, and it's yeah, going to get you know guys. People, 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 think people think you're bringing it up to give him crap. No, he's just saying what happened. I, yeah. actually, but right, and I don't mind. I get it because you. If I raise it as an issue, I'm 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 entertaining the possibility. Those that were it, the kind of shots they took right. against Detroit, though. Like Grant yeah. took those, Smart took those. It was the same deal when you went. It was a little bit, but you're. It's again, you're going. You went stretches. Jalen didn't get the ball enough down the stretch there as well. You know, so I mean, there's always there's, there's these you know late game execution issues. But you're right. It shouldn't have gotten to that point. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think it any anyway. But the smart thing is interesting because, um, you know, of of uh, of what happened today. Uh, so Marcus, by all accounts, for the last two games, played his two best games of the season. In those games, he shot eight field goals and six field goals. He had nine and 10 assists or nine and 11 assists in those games. Tons of steals, extremely active, 
exactly the type of Marcus Smart that you want to see all the time. And everybody was lauding his performance. Okay. So then, and we have the stats to back it. There is empirical evidence over the last two years when Marcus Smart takes 12, 13 shots or more, the Celtics have a horrible record. When he takes fewer than that, they, t they, they, they have a better record. And there's other reasons behind that as well. So, seeing as he, but what's interesting is seeing as he had reduced shots these last couple of games, as you're starting to get your stars back, he was asked about it today. Um, in the pregame media availability, like, hey, have you kind of tamped down your shots and your shot selection and this and that? And Marcus was having none of it. So uh, here's what here's what Smart had to say uh, prior to the game on that. Same thing I've been doing, you know, same thing with my three-point ability, just continue to shoot the ball. Shoot with confidence, not really give a F what anybody says, no cares about me shooting. Um, you know, I know I get shit a lot, but who cares, you know? Um, and just go out there and continue to do it. You know, my teammates trust me. I believe in myself. I know what I can do just because I'm not doing it every night. You know, we have a stacked team, so a lot of the times the stuff that I do or not doing does go unnoticed. So for me, it's just to keep playing, you know. Um, it's, there's nothing new. There's nothing different that I haven't been doing. Uh, working in the past is just, you know, with those guys out, it was more uh, opportunities for me and uh, to, to, to show. <laughs> Um, the skill set. So, um, like I said, just really going out there and just doing it. nothing new, just continue to work. So, okay, again, so Testy. The breakfast club, some kind of interview. Uh, so, Testy, so he doesn't like being told you should shoot less, even though the evidence says you should shoot less. Uh, and, the, and the results are there that it's better when you shoot less. And in fact, your field goal percentage over your career for the amount of shots that you take is among the worst in the league. It, 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 there is no debating that he is one of the worst shooters who shoots 10 or more shots a game in basketball. He has been over his career. doesn't mean he should never shoot. It just means that he affects the game in so many other ways better than when he's taking a lot of shots. The evidence See, but bears that's that the out. Thing, John. But like, that's does not, not the focal like, point of the conversation. He doesn't, like he doesn't like hearing it. And then the day that this happens, he goes out and jacks 15 shots when you have the big <laughs> three, when you have the big three back on the floor, which it just seemed odd to me. Because if ever there was a day to not do it, you have the big three back and Brad played 13 guys. There should have been fewer opportunities to shoot <laughs> in this game than in any game this season. And he jacked 15 shots shots just way he's got I think, I think you just said it you just said it yourself John. like like what he does outside of that usually or most likely almost 1000 percent outweighs those those bad looks right so why is this always a focal point why is this always a talking point for Celtics fans why because when everything else is going wrong it's like the card in the back pocket that everyone every Celtics fan wants to pull out oh this is why they're losing oh this is the problem Marcus shoots too much and I think it's just reached a boiling point since the postseason, which was understandably, understandably so. And I think Marcus said, OK, let me, you know, go out there and, and, and do my thing and, and not, you know, make such a point of emphasis about that. But then here it comes again. Here's a talking point. Because why? Because Kemba was out. Oh, because, you know, because of COVID protocol, a lot of other players were out. So we're losing games because those players are out. Oh, well, wait a minute. Look at the stats. Marcus Smart is shooting, oh, you know, 14, 16 shots. Well, why is he shooting so much? Uh, because the other players are out, John. Because... <laughs> Half the team is out. Like, yeah, of course. Why are, they are you lecturing me? The, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm saying to John me? for all the Celtics fans that sound like John. You know, I'm calling y'all Johns, okay? Everybody, you know I mean? hop on Joe Sway's back, boys. He's taking you home, okay? <laughs> like, this is the – like, this is <laughs> – you're picking at – you know what I mean? Like, it's like the go-to, like, right. uh, complaint <laughs> as if it's, like, the biggest issue the Celtics have right now. It's, like, the seventh worst – it's like the seventh bad thing that, that the, this is the what seventh he does. biggest problem, the tenth biggest problem the Celtics have. He he plants that talking point, and the little Johns just take it everywhere, <laughs> all the over the Johns. Internet. Yeah, the little Johns. Yeah. <laughs>